don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but there's a, right there coming out of the parking lot here in just a moment. Right there. Okay. There's a car coming through the parking lot jacks right now. You can just barely see it over there. Okay, right after this white car, you're going to see in about the middle of the screen a car going through that parking lot kind of fast. It whips through the parking lot. It's going to take a left turn now and pull out and it's going to run the stop sign right in front of this car. Boom! Right there. Ran the stop sign. The car stopped. Now something happened to that red car. don't know what. And it died right there. It wouldn't move. I don't know if he stalled it out or what happened. And he sat there for the longest time. I'm going to skip forward now and uh, show you what happened next. A couple people pushed. One guy stopped to help push on it. Got about that far. And then another guy got out of that car behind him. He ran down. He helped push on it too. Now this car that's being pushed right now. Approximately... An hour and a half later, let me get over here to a different screen now. An hour and a half later, you'll see him. It's kind of got going around the corner here. My cameras weren't set up real good on this one. There's the two guys pushing it right there. They met around the corner. I said, as much as you're going to see, because from that point my camera didn't catch much. But, I'm going to go out and show you what transpired an hour later. An hour later, this car lost control at a high rate of speed and left debris for probably 200 feet down a road. I'm going to crawl up on top of the truck so you can see this here. It's a T-top, as you can see. Let me shut the camera off and get up on top here. The driver of this car did die. He was ejected from the car. He was found 150 feet away from the car. The car came to rest upside down after hitting a pole. Uh, Lucky he didn't take anybody with him, but this is the same car, same driver that ran the stop sign about an hour before this happened. Not sure what the circumstances were with the driver, don't know what was going on with him, but obviously he had uh, some issues. This is all that's left of the driver's side. Uh, fortunate for this gentleman, if he had been wearing his seatbelt, he probably would have survived the crash. He would have been inside the car. Roof didn't come down that far, he probably would have survived with a seatbelt.